Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We got another $5 Friday Night Knife video for you today. This is the tie-dye from Rough Rider. Uh, it is a hippie knife, feeling groovy, far out, yeah. And there is the model number RR1910, um, $5 knife. So let, let's open it up and see what the knife looks like. Well, there we go, it pops out. Um, you know, it's actually, it's actually pretty decent. So um, we got G10 handle scales um, over those liners. Uh, I'm not sure, those are probably steel liners based on the weight. I don't think they're aluminum, could be, I don't know. Um, but you do have a little bit of texture on there. It's not super aggressive, but uh, so it should be sufficient to give you some decent grip. And uh, you got a fairly attractive pivot there. Fit and finish on it is uh, not too bad, actually. You know, I'm not feeling raised edges or anything. It seems to match up pretty well. Got some jimping back here for the reverse grip. Um, yeah, even the screws aren't boogered up, so that is cool. You do have a tie-dye pocket clip that is skeletonized, not deep carry, but uh, hey, pretty decent, pretty decent. Um, okay, so let's uh, let's flip it open. It's a flipper. There's no thumb. Well, no, there is a thumb stud, and it's right hand only. So let's try the thumb stud first. Boop. There it goes. Works just fine. Let's uh, let's try the flipper. Yeah, rockets right out of there. This is uh, assisted opening, so you can see spring engages right there. It's not super um, resistant, resistive, closing that up. Um, centering is off to the left, um, but not, well, it's pretty, it's pretty bad. Almost touching on that side, it looks like. Um, yeah, I guess it's not. You can see it. You can see some daylight through there. It's off a little bit though. So if you're anal about that, then probably want to stay away from this knife. But for me, don't care because it's five dollars. So there you go. You got your tie dye coating. Um, I'm sure that's probably not a very durable coating, but uh, it does give it that tie dye look. You got the Rough Rider logo on there, and that is it. Um, oh no, there we go. We got the model number in. It's made in China, of course. So we have no idea what the blade steel on that is. Some kind of mystery stainless, I'm sure. And uh, yeah, other than that, <clears throat> you know, action on it is pretty decent. Um, you do have a Tonto style point on there, and uh, you got some flare here on the back for aesthetics um, and you do have a little jimping right there for some detail work so that is pretty cool for a five dollar knife um, no well i guess you could call that jimping but that is super uncomfortable um, i would not want to use that um, for very long but uh, yep it is what it is it's five dollars so let us get a piece of paper and see what that edge is like right out the box here we got some printer paper. Woo! Yeah, it's sharp. Yep, no issues whatsoever there. That is amazingly sharp for a $5 knife. Crazy sharp. Yeah, buddy. No issues with that at all. That is awesome. Let's get some uh, Bud K paper here. Let's, uh, let's cut on some uh, magazine here. We got some printer or uh, magazine paper here. Yeah, like butter. Man, really sharp. I am very impressed, actually. This is ridiculously sharp. Very, very nice. Um, see if we can get it. Yeah, we can get those little, little teeny curls off there yeah cool I like it uh, I mean I don't think I would carry this knife because um, I'm not a hippie 
and I don't like tie-dye, but uh, I mean, if you're into that, this would be a great knife for you to carry. Um, and you don't have to worry about losing it. Five bucks. Oh, well. So there it is, guys. $5 Friday Night Knife, the Rough Rider tie-dye. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.